Hello and welcome my voluptuous and delicious chocolate nuggets of fudge and everything else combined together. It's SJB here and we've got some chimps for you but we're doing something different today. We're going to be trying to do a strategy where we try to get to the highest round that we possibly can in chimps. So, to make this all happen, the first, first of all, actually, I want to say a quick shout out to, I had to look it up, Papa John for recommending this, uh, to me. I, <laughs> it's not like the most amazing and creative idea ever, but everybody seemed to really enjoy it. And you know what? I'm down to do something a little bit different every once in a while, so let's do it. We're playing chimps today, and we're going to try to get to the highest round that we possibly can. Now, in chimps, there's some major issues. Now, in a normal game, you know, getting to around 200, 300, even 400 may be possible with paragons and um, ridiculous farming and making all this money to make all this stuff happen, including the Vengeful Temple and ridiculousness. But as of right now, we don't have that available to us. We don't have any extra cash. We don't have anything extra to get us further in chimps. All we have is the towers beneath us. So, that's what we're going to try to do for you guys today. We're going to be using just regular old towers, just a regular old hero, no bonuses, no nothing. We're going to get to the highest round that we possibly can. Now, similar challenges have arose over the times. Um, specifically, one of the most interesting ones to me is to get to round 100 in deflation. It's actually an achievement, if you haven't done it before. Uh, it's quite difficult. Um, $20,000 is not a lot of money to get started in there, but the main thing that I can tell you is, almost always, the hero that you're going to use is going to be Churchill, because it's all about spending the least amount of money to get the most amount of popping power. And Churchill is $2,160. He is an expensive hero to get started up in here. But once he gets rolling, he gets a rolling. He's going to be the most effective power, uh, popping power tower for us for the amount of money that we spent in the entire game. So, I've got to watch myself a little bit here. We want to get the earliest Churchill we possibly can. Of course, since we're trying to go beyond round 100 here, that means that, uh, you know, Churchill's going to be reasonably easy to um, uh, level up in here. Probably to round to, what, to level 20? I think so. I mean, I, I can't argue too much on that note, but I believe, I am pretty strongly believe that he will reach level 20, no problem here. But the faster we get there the more help that we won't need from our other towers, and we can plan and, and organize and maybe even save up extra money and get all that stuff actually going in here at the right time. So it looks like round 15 is going to be a little bit of a struggle for us. I might have to buy sharp shurikens here. I really hope not to, but it looks like, yeah, we definitely need to buy this crap. boop bop bippity bip bop boop bip bop boopity bip bop boop bip bop boop boop lowercase letters SJB. All right, so we're putting ourselves behind again just a little bit here. Sharp shurikens. Looks like we should get Churchill by probably level 17 or so, and I am not afraid of a sharp shurikens ninja. I mean, come on. We've got to be able to take this down, right? Uh-oh. Two, three, four. Yes, we can. So we could pop a yellow balloon um, just by him kind of like flying by here. And this is the out-seeking shuriken so far. So we're really relying on just shuriken action to actually do the damage in here. I also could target him to strong or last or whatever and actually maneuver him around a little bit. But honestly, I believe first is probably good enough for us. Except for maybe against regen balloons. Uh-oh. <laughs> Again, we struggle. I think I need the seeking shuriken, guys. Dang. Okay, a little bit of targeting. Let's see if this is going to bring us through. Um, it's gonna be tight here. There's only a few balloons sticking through. We got a real chance. The real chance, the real problem here is gonna be two yellow balloons next to each other. And it looks like, boom, 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 yes! We snipe it! So, I don't know why I'm so excited about that, but, uh, dang, it felt good, man. That last little snipe right there. Um, again, just a little bit of, uh, maneuvering, I suppose. Alright, so we're gonna pop a Churchill down right about here. I'm going to try to get him as high as I possibly can. You can also go for a Churchill somewhere like this, but I, I kind of like this position just a little bit better. You know what? Let's put him let's put him on the right side of this area. Um, so if he's ever chasing the balloons, he's going to shoot down as many straight lines as possible, because straight lines are the key to Churchill's popping power here. Um, specifically, if we leave him on last, or even on strong, or something like that, he will do a pretty good amount of popping power overall. So I know that I've been spending a lot of time kind of talking about uh, getting my hero going, and getting my starting tower going, but realistically, we are not doing just a single solo tower anymore. So I know that in all of my videos, one of the things that I almost always did was I tried to see what round could we get to as the furthest round that we could get to on chimps with just a solo tower. Um, and I've done it with uh, most of these guys, I gotta say almost, almost all primaries don't get very far at all. Um, you know, we're talking, if you get past round 101, 102, that's pretty fancy, you know, like that's, that's pretty gosh darn good. We're going to go double shot. We're going to finally get the Seeking Shuriken, and we're going to go for the Caltrops. Why the heck not? 
Um, a lot of militaries, they can probably make it to like 106, 105, kind of depending on which military. Magic monkeys, kind of same thing. It depends on which magic monkey, but sometimes they make it a little bit further than around 100. Support monkeys, I don't remember exactly what was going on, but I think we barely made it past around 100, so we're going to talk about that later. So really, it is going to be all about a combo, but the one specific tower that I know did really, really, really well in this is the ninja monkey. All right. The ninja monkey is fantastic because of shinobi tactics, where you can get 20 ninjas stacked up on top of each other here. Um, it increases their speed and their pierce of all of these individual monkeys. And let me tell you guys, when you get that big on full on 20 ninja monkey army going, it gets pretty wild. So... What we're going to do for you guys is uh, we're going to start off with just a balloon jitsu. Now, this is not the most important tower ever. I can't sell, so I really do have to position and make sure that I'm, like, not messing anything up here. But uh, the idea is to get as many ninjas as we possibly can into, like, this general area right here. I'm thinking about getting a full-on 20, if not more than 20. But the weird thing is that I have to try to get as many shinobis as I possibly can in range of my two big ninjas. Maybe even my third big ninja. Which is I gotta get a Grandmaster, and I gotta get a Master Bomber. Now, in addition, um... I can use support towers. So I think my main goal is to get those big ninjas flowing, and then we're gonna get the support towers going. And I think because of that, I'm gonna skip all the way to around 80, cause this is just kind of boring. We got the loadout here, we got the setup. Let's start getting going with some late game action, folks. All right, we made it into 80 plus so far. I would not say things are going very smooth, actually. I would say things are actually going kind of endo, uh, 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 oh god, I forgot the word I was thinking of right now at this exact moment. There it is, endoplasmic reticulum. I did not have to look that up, I just had to bring it out of my brain. I used to always call it ER. I think everybody just kind of eventually is just like, screw it, bro. I ain't saying full-on endo, can't even say it anymore. Reticulum, I'm not saying that full-on word here, we're just going ER, man. It makes a lot more sense. If you guys don't know what that is, though, I don't know if you should be Googling that kind of stuff. That can be a little bit too, uh, weird for ya. But let me just say, you've got one, okay? You probably have a lot more than one. You've probably got millions of them. All right, let's just be honest here. Maybe even more than that. Billions? Dare I say? All right, so right now, things are not going, again, not super duper smooth, surprisingly, because my team is just kind of goofy. Um... Right now, I'm kind of relying on my Grandmaster Ninja, which I also misplaced my Alchemist, and I could not undo the misplacement of that Alchemist. Um, and now he is alchemizing random ninjas over here instead of this Grandmaster, and I figured I was eventually going to get a primary, uh, or a permanent brew, so it wouldn't even matter. But now I'm like, oh my god, we're struggling so much, we might not be able to afford all of this stuff all at the same time, it's going to be terrible. But which way, we are still alive. I think the big, big, big change here is when we get our Master Bomber, and then of course, as we get into, uh... Uh, buying all of our shinobis, things are gonna start to go way, way easier, bro. Once you get just a few shinobis, life changes, and once you get to that 20 shinobis, life changes. Oh, so delicious. Alright, round 84 here, we're getting close on monies. Um, we're just gonna use Churchill's ability here, a little on the early side, I guess. Just try to pop down, get rid of these Moabs real quick. So we got a little more time against these BFBs, I suppose. Things are still going reasonably smooth. It looks like the money is gonna be almost there. Oh, $2,000. Well, twelve hundred dollars. All right, no problem. Uh, Eighty-five is actually not too bad. Um, sh really, shouldn't be too bad for us. We're just gonna use our ability here, and this is gonna get us that master bomber money. Woo! Now that changes things again, big. All right. Um, every single one of these things that we upgrade is just going to exponentially um, make these guys stronger. Now, I, I was so sad that I did this, and I, 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 like, mildly hate myself for doing this, but this is my Grandmaster Ninja up here. We're gonna see how many ninjas we end up getting up to, uh, uh, 20 times over here. I'd much rather, like, this one or this one be my Grandmaster Ninja. Um, I think we could get more Shinobis on him, but I had trouble surviving earlier on, so, uh, I ended up doing something kind of stupid here. Um, we'll see if it, if it affects us too much, but as of right now, um, I, I do, I feel like that was a mistake. So we're going to shinobis, we're going to go Ninja Discipline, and we already go Sharp Jerkins. Because we're playing the long game here, I want to make sure that I'm actually spending my money. And I think if you get enough shinobi taxes with Sharp Jerkins, it actually does act like make sense to buy those guys, even though they're kind of weird. Some people just skip the uh, Sharp Jerkins completely. You're going from two pops to four pops. It's not really that big of a deal. But when you've got shinobi tactics, you get more pops, and you got a lot of extra speed. And if you end up going for a perma brew later on, that's going to make them that much more powerful. All right, so shinobi tactics, Ninja Blizzard. Sharp Shurikens, pop these guys out. Um, we got DDTs for the first time coming out. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Master Bomber should be able to handle these guys. There's one, two, three, dead. All right, so that should happen the exact same way in 93 and run 95, especially if we're going to start spamming these Shinobis. 
I'm a little worried about affording some of my other things that I want to afford this game, though. Um, feels like we just don't have as much money as I thought we would. And I haven't been spending uh, money in any wasteful way or anything like that. I was also thinking maybe it would be worth it to go for a monkey business and a monkey commerce down here, but I decided against it mostly because I do want to get this guy to a middle path, fourth tier or fifth tier eventually, if we have the money for it. So I think that's where I have to put my eggs right now and hope that things just go right. I hope I can get a perma roof, hopefully I can get this guy, and maybe if we need to, we can get a couple, like, slower down over towers or something like that, like a glue or an ice or something like that. Um, but I want to concentrate most of my money into the popping power. Shinobi tactics, but this guy, so we're still spamming these guys. It looks like at least this guy can reach over there. This guy might not be able to, though. Yeah, it looks like that is going to be too far away for this one, but not too far away from this one. So we're going to see. I might be able to pop a couple ninjas on the top up here, and, uh, uh, I can still be able to probably reach my Master of Armor as well, so it might be worth it to just say, screw these random ninjas for now. They're going to do a tiny bit of popping power, but focus on the long-term action with my mistake that happened. All right, more Shinobis across the board. I might have been forgetting to get Sharp Shurikens again. I just talked about how I was just going to do it anyways, but... Um it's easy to just, yeah, it's easy to just forget that. That's like usually what, that's usually what I do. I usually don't buy the Sharp Shurikens because I want to spend my money in a different way first. All right, and it looks like we've got it all covered. Sometimes you just don't listen to your own your own stuff. And it looks like, again, we're at 13 times ninjas. This guy's at 13. This guy's at 13. So every single one of them has reached. That's actually unexpected. I thought this one was too far away, but it looks like it is not. Nice. All right, so uh, we're going to see if we can fit another, like, five over here. Three or four, something like that, still in range. If so, that would be fantastic. Shinobi Tactics. Shinobi Tactics with Ninja Discipline. Now we got 15 and... F oh, 14. This guy was too far away. What? Oh, that does not feel right. Does not feel right at all. All right, round 98. As you can tell, as far as the balloons are concerned, they are going down, man. This is a non-issue so far. Shinobi Tactics again. Shinobi Tactics again. I've just got to buy these freaking upgrades I keep forgetting to buy. I'm currently at 16 and 16. That's not bad. It's not bad. I don't know if there's any more ninjas that I could put down that'll actually get me to 20 times over here. Um, where they both end up uh, hitting these guys. I, oh. No! I bought the wrong upgrade! Dang, that sucks. Alright, well at least let's do this. Let's get a Shinobi's over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start saving up my money again. Now this is the bad balloon. Round 100. And check this out. I'm not going to say it was easy peasy, but dang, that was pretty simple. Alright. Now, around 101 plus, things get really wild in chimps mode. I mean, we're going from, like, popping uh, a single bad to, like, tons of DDTs mixed with Zoma Gods, Reinforced Zoma Gods, and all this other stuff. It's just, it gets absurd. So, let's see if we can uh, save up either $64,000 or, at the very least, I want to make sure that I got some sort of call to arms or something like that to keep me alive. But, so far, things are going pretty smooth. I think if we make a big change here, definitely this Permabrew here will get all of these ninjas Permabrewed for sure. And we won't hit every single Shinobi, but it'll hit most of them that actually matter. Um, if DDTs ever start to sneak through because my Master Bomber can't keep up, um, I can go for a couple more Shinobis right here, or I can just go for something that's going to slow those guys down like a glue. Um, there's a lot of options available to us now. I'm usually st like stalled by like a single tower. But now that I've actually played around with all these third tiers and fourth tiers and fifth tiers that I don't normally play around with, I actually feel like much better of a, of a BTD6 player. Um, more skilled. Maybe not as great with combinations, but still fairly skilled. Now, it should be noted that in free play, around 100 plus, the amount of money that you get off these things is absurdly low. Um, all the money that we're going to be making here is, is going to be terrible. Saving up $60,000 could take 10 rounds. 10 rounds plus, that's like $5,000 per, per round. With this many balloons coming out, man, it gets really, really, really wild. Um, that's why we got to watch ourselves so much. If I got to wait until round 114 before I can build anything else besides uh, uh, saving up for this guy, we got to try. And if we do end up starting to fail, we're going to have to just slowly buy another little thing and another little thing and and be sad that we'll, we'll never reach what we want to reach. But it's only a maybe. It's only a maybe. Maybe it'll all just go fantastic and uh, life will be even better for me. All right. 106 for... Uh, I wanted to say halfway there, but we're not halfway there. For some reason, $54,000 popped in my brain. 64,000, even though I just looked at it like a thousand times. Should be noted, Churchill is level 16 right now, so we got a lot of ways to go for this guy. Um, let's see how much experience he's getting per round. So he's getting about one quarter, maybe one fifth of his level every single round. 
Um, that means by the time he gets probably like 120 or so, he might be max level. Maybe. I mean, you also ramp up in experience as the rounds go on, but you also ramp up in necessary experience to go up a level. So it's hard to, to gauge exactly where we're going to be, but I'm hoping that this guy doesn't end up maxing out so far. Still going pretty smooth. Similarly, the biggest issue for us has been the DDT so far. Um, and or just reinforced ceramics in general. Uh, for the most part, they have not made it all the way around to the last loop yet. They have made it around the first two loops, though. Uh, so that is kind of important, I guess. One other thing to, to, to talk about really quickly before I go too deep in here is map choice. And I know that I probably uh, should have talked about this earlier. But there's a lot of different maps that you could try to go for the highest round on. I think number one, most people are going to pick logs. Logs is kind of a roundabout map that you can... Uh, hit the balloons multiple times as they come around the exact same area, and that's pretty sweet. Um, it also gives you a reasonable amount of space to put things, but I felt like one of my biggest weaknesses is actually going to be space. It doesn't seem like it's actually going to be its that bad over here, but this is a pretty big area to fit 20 plus inches in. Um, pretty huge, actually. So... On logs, I mean, I don't think I could fit 20 ninjas next to, me, to, to any ninja at all, even if I tried. I mean, maybe. Maybe it'd be close, but you'd be, like, spamming ninjas in weird ways that don't really make sense and all this goofy stuff. So here we go. We're going to use our ability here for the first time. That's just a lot of freaking blooms. This ability probably isn't even doing very much at this point, but um, why take any chances when we're only about uh, $12,000 away from what we need to be? Around 111, man. Getting scary over here. But still, no last loop plays yet. And this is with just a regular Grandmaster Ninja Man. I mean, uh, 16 times. That's it. Not powered up by any alchemist whatsoever. Because, again, uh, a misplayment, I guess. Maybe I just suck, man. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I could definitely... You know, this is my first try doing something like this. Or at least in a very, very long time. So, it'd be intriguing if we decided to... Uh, replay it and kind of like master it up, you know, to just a, a smidge better every single time and actually get to the highest round. I'm also curious, what is your guys' highest round that you've ever gotten to on Chimps mode? Uh, I don't know, I don't remember what my highest round is, but I think it was in the 120s, something like that. Um, here we go, we're about to get it. Perma Brew, this is going to be a big change for us, guys. Big change. Our big boy ninjas are all going to start being powered up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you're going to see how much easier this is going to get. I don't even think we're going to make it around the first loop here once everybody's actually powered up. But you can see, not everybody's powered up yet. This ninja still doesn't have uh, uh, the alchemy. And he will, eventually. He's got acidic mixture dip for some reason, but not powered up. Here we go. Perma Brew is on our Grand Master Ninja now. Um, that'll allow us to pop DDTs for sure. Oh, yes. Now that is good. That is good. All right, so uh, seemingly against regular bloons, we're doing fine. I'm a little worried about the bats at this point because there's no way to slow them down like we are with these Zoma Gods, VFBs, Moabs, and other bloons and everything kind of combined together here. So uh, I don't know if I want to build glue or anything just yet. I mean, eventually I do want to try to get some of that stuff if bads are not the major issue, but if bads are the major issue, I'm better off just going full pierce, full popping power, spamming more shinobis. It sounds stupid, but it might be the best option for us. And or, that's when we start to get to the weirder abilities, like uh, getting ready for... Oh, here we go. All right, let's use our, uh, our ability here. All right, it actually looks not too bad against bads so far. Round 119. Uh, there's three of them, though. All right, first one's taken down. Alright, second one's getting hurt pretty bad. It looks like this will not be that big of a deal. Alright. I am not upset by that. Not upset by that at all. Alright, so let's start by doing this. Um, I don't love it. But it's just going to uh, increase our popping power so freaking much, man. If we can get a call to arms, $21,000. It doesn't seem like that much money for the amount of popping power we're getting out of these guys. Because this is exactly what you need. Extra pierce, extra damage, equals awesomeness for ninjas. Um, and then I think I might actually spam the, the last few of my shinobis over here, kind of combined all together. But yeah, there's definitely some abilities that we can use to uh, help ourselves out, like Moab Eliminator. Um, I don't know what I can afford for a cheapish amount of money, but maybe I can at least go for like a Spike Storm or something like that. At this point, money is going to be scarce. It does not... Oh, here we go! Churchill just reached level 20. That My prediction is pretty gosh hard close. I said about 120. Around 121, and we make it. Beautiful. 
Okay. One other thing that I would like to do, but this is really on the back burner here, if I get enough money for it, I'd like to buy a helicopter and move my perma brew to the other side of this ninja army and get all of these shinobis powered up. That would be ideal. Uh, but knowing that that guy himself is going to cost us uh, $11,000 on top of all the previous upgrades, we're talking about like $16,000. I don't feel like that's going to give us as much popping power as going for like a call to arms, or if bats were an issue, a mob eliminator. Um, I do which way, we're super duper close to call to arms. 123 plus. Now, if you guys have not predicted yet how far we are going to make it, now is the time. All right, you've seen everything in action. How far do you think we can go? Do you think we can make it to 130? Do you think we can make it to 140? Do you think we can make it to 250? No, I mean, definitely not 250, but uh, 140? I mean, uh, I would be super impressed with myself if we're able to make it that far. I don't think it's going to be possible, though. I really honestly don't. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, things are going well. It's really going to take a weird reinforced bat or something to take us down. Um, I think. All right, you know what? I'm going to do it. I think I've got to go for some sort of... Ugh, man. I don't know. There's so many options for us, but so little money that it makes me feel like I have to buy the cheapest option. Or I could just wait until I'm ready to die and then finally make my decision. I could do that. You know what? I think what we're going to do is, first, first of all, since there are so many options, though, this guy is maxed out at 20 times. This guy's only at 17 times. Let's get at least two more in here. He's going to be perma brute as well. Boom. Uh, and then the other tower that I really even haven't talked about yet, that is probably super important. Okay, 19 times. Yeah, I guess we're just going to stick with 19 times. This guy might be able to reach. But, eh, prob probably not, though. So, yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to reach. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I lost my train of thought here, folks. I'm just getting, I'm getting lost in thought with all these different options available to me. But what's really uh, catching my eyeball here is the glue storm. The glue storm. That could be intriguing. Um, we can put him in range of this guy. Uh, he won't actually hurt that bad against the balloons either. Um, if reinforced balloons ever become an issue. But again, this will not help us against the bad balloon. All right, I'm going to save my money. I'm going to save my money. I'm not going to officially buy this guy. I'm going to build one glue gunner and one cannon. And I'm going to make my decision uh, later on. Yes, put it right here in the front here where everything's kind of getting stunned forever. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now let's show off an ability. When we use the ability here, check out this. Complete and utter stunnage and a lot of freaking damage. Ooh. Oh my god. That looks beautiful. I don't know, bro. We might be able to push on beyond round 140. Based on what I'm seeing right here, we're not even getting close to the second, the first loop, let alone the second loop or the third mega loop. We got a lot of time, and Churchill hasn't even been actually popping a lot of stuff here because they have not been getting in, getting that far. So we might have to start showing off just little bits of each round because things are going so gosh darn well. I was not expecting this. So I'll see you guys back probably 135 or something like that, unless something goes very horrible. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. One other tower that I haven't even like talked about or even like remotely gone deep on has been the Grand Sabatois. All right, it's 23760 bucks plus another 6000 so it's going to be about $30,000 save up for one of those guys. The question is, is that going to be worth it over something like a Moab Eliminator? Um, some people would argue in free play, 100 million bajillion percent, but it's really difficult to use. You have to time your ability to start right at the beginning of every single round, right when all the balloons are kind of coming out, and they are going to make them all half speed, or excuse me, half, uh, half health. So that will be unbelievably powerful if we could use it accurately and perfect and amazing every single time. But it's tough. It's tough to do. But I think because we're trying to do our best run, I think, you know, even though I got a glue and a can in there, I think I got to swap it up for a second, man. I think I got to go go big here. Go try for it. Try for this Grand Sops wall. All right. To try for him. Now, we also have the ability to do homeland defense if we get the money for this thing. But again, I'm getting too ahead of myself here, folks. Uh, that's like 10, 15 rounds down the hole here, and I don't know if we're going to make it that far. Um, we're going to play through to round 140 because 140, I believe, is is two reinforced bads. No, no, no. Two, it's just more bads again. I think after round 140, you start getting more random rounds where there's a lot of random bads and things coming out. So... Uh... The current situation of just killing everything as soon as they walk in here is not going to be the case anymore. 
And we are very close to getting that Grand Salvage Bar Mono. We got it. All right, so we're going we're gonna to just use... Oh, it is two... Is it two reinforced pads? All right, we're going to use this anyways. Try to kill the uh, second bad. Um... Oh, man, I, th I think I mistimed that crap. Hardcore. Hardcore. All right, let's use this ability at least. We're going to use this one as well while everything's on the screen. And I'll use the Churchill ability. Uh, all right, so based on what I'm seeing right now, this is, this is probably going to be terrible. Uh, I don't know if we've got a chance here, but we do maybe have a chance if I manage to use this ability at the right time next time around. So let's see how close are we for the first one. The second one pops first? That's really weird. Maybe my Grand Saboteur did work. I was, I was actually not paying attention. I just assumed that it didn't. All right, let's use another one of these. All right, we gotta take down this. Oh my god, they're all, why are they all attacking this one? I have, Grand, I guess that's just Grandmaster to just kind of like, <gasps> holy crap, oh. Oh, this is a real chips game, guys. That was almost the end for us. Extreme ninja-like abilities to keep us in here. Whew. So sadly, I could afford it for around 140, but I can't actually use the ability before the first bat comes out. You have to press start before it happens, but um, it's not worth it to press it and just see if you can click it in time. I don't think that's the way it works. I think it's automatically coming out already, so I'm going to have to wait. Instead, I have to use this ability to kind of get started in here, as soon as everything kind of gets in range. And then we're going to try to time this one, but I don't remember exactly where it comes out, so if this fails again, we're going to try it one last time and try to man just try to see exactly where this bad is when the next one comes out. Okay, Churchill, get to work. Um, I'm going to guess in about three, two, one, use. And we're going to hope this guy comes out in just the next few seconds. If not, it's okay. Uh... And there it is. It does come out, and it does come out damaged. Okay, so I wasn't... I'm not 100% sure if that happened last time, but for sure it did happen this time. All right, we're going to use another one of these. Churchill ability. All right, looks like this bad... Oh, because this bad's not reinforced. Oh, that's why that one popped first. That is intriguing. All right, some missiles. I don't know what this is going to do for us here, but I, I could use this ability, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we're better off trying to use this guy. Um, it's going better this time. 140. If we could make it through 140, though, I mean, we're going to have to start dealing with a lot more bads, but... Uh-oh. Let's see what we got. Balloons got taken down. 140 has been defeated, my friends. Woo! All right, that was a spicy level, though. Extremely spicy level. <sighs> what is the next thing that we should do, though? Do I want to move my Permabrew? Do I want to try... Should we? I guess we could use this every single round now, probably. Um, we got a lot of stunnage here, but not that much popping power necessarily, so... Um, oh my god, my mouse! My mouse! Oh, normally I'd stop the recording, but holy crap, that was just too too great to not do. Oh no! Bad balloons! No! I don't like this. I did not have this ready to go. Again, the timing issue, guys. The freaking timing issue. But there are three regular bads, and that means much more manageable for us than any sort of reinforced bads whatsoever. I believe the next reinforced bad does come out to around 200, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't usually play into free play here, or at least free play with uh, very, very limited money at this point. Usually I've got almost infinite money, and I've got temples or vengeful temples or something goofy up at this point in the game already. Okay, Master Bomber, seemingly throwing very slow right now for some reason. I guess it takes time for the uh, the bombs to pop. All right. All right, we're going to use this at the beginning of this round. It's, again, hard to manage, hard to know exactly what's going to come out, but we do get at least one bad hurt. That's cool. That's cool, cool. I guess we're going to use one of these. I guess we could use one of these. Why the heck not? Looks like 143 is going to go our way. One bad, not a big deal at all. And we're going to get this back right away at the beginning of round 144. That's pretty amazing. Gotta say, man. All right. We'll skip a couple rounds. We'll see you guys back as soon as we run into any major issues. We are currently on round 145. I have decided that I am going to try for my glue storm. Um, not only are the bad balloons an issue, but once they finally pop out and if they get down to this little area right here, it gets pretty wild. So, I'm going to try. I, I don't know if it's going to be the most effective tower for me. I know that it's usually good against the, the boss balloons and stuff like that. But again, with such limited money, it's very difficult to make these decisions kind of on the fly here. Um, I do end up using my abilities here. Most of them, at least. 
Um, Bad Balloons are making it around this last turn here. DDT's trying to sneak through. Can't tell what's going on. Very difficult to tell. Does look like the balloons got popped, I believe. You would like to believe in a Grandmaster Ninja, but you just never freaking know. You know, these... Uh, the balloons sometimes are just really, really weird and goofy. But that's... I do have a glue gunner as well. That should help us out just that tiny, tiny bit. All right, beginning of the round again. We're going to go boop, just like that. Eh, doesn't really seem that that helpful, to be completely honest, this time around. Oh, we get a, a bat done. Yes. Even one of those guys can be a, a big difference for us. That's that's how much uh, damage is going to be, like, soaked up by 30 different shots of this guy. All right. I guess we can use a couple other abilities as well. Um, we're going to try to save any abilities that we can whenever possible, though. All right. Looks like 147 is going to go our way as well. Um, gonna take some time, obviously. A lot of stunnage action going on in here, but still going. Uh, we're gonna wait a few seconds, and ability use! Alright, hopefully bads will, like, come out now. If they're gonna come out. I'd rather no bads, but if you were gonna come out, come out now. Alright, let's use our ability here as well. Clean these guys up. Looks like there's no bads, I'm on 148. We are gonna be able to afford a glue storm here on the next round. Hopefully for around 150 here, folks. Oh my god, this is getting exciting. <laughs> It's getting kind of scary, too. Exciting scary at the same time. Chimps, late game. I don't think it's even remotely possible to save 160, but... Dang, dude, that would be so beautiful if I could... Oh, crap! Bad balloon. There's two of them! Uh-oh, at the same time. All right, we're going to use all of our abilities here. Everything we got... Should go down, I believe, with those abilities. Grandmaster Ninja is surprisingly doing a good amount of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. A little bit of missile action. Alright, we got three DDTs sneaking out over here. Uh, they are getting taken down. Another bad still alive. DDT is going through first. That's good. We want to get rid of the DDTs before. Um, Master Bomber is still doing a good job. It, believe it or not, the more Zoma Gods there are, the better off the Master Bomber is. Because they kind of like do grouped attack damage, basically. So, uh, just two Zoma Gods. Not that great. But four Zoma Gods makes you pop better. That's kind of weird. Here we go. We got the Glue Storm up. All right. So we got a lot of abilities under our belt here. We're at 150. We're going to use that ability as soon as we see the bad. We're going to hope that more bads come out. If any bads come out, they're going to come out now. All right. We're going to go for that ability a little on the uh, uh, early-ish side, I suppose. All right. Just one bad for around 150. That seems manageable. If we can take down two, it means we can definitely take down one, man. All right. I've not been using my glue either. I guess it's probably worth it to just keep spamming that thing. Like, why not? Right? Just use it. All right, bad gonna make it all the way around the circle here. It's a little scary. Let's blue storm that again. Hopefully, I don't need to waste this ability with the master bomber and everybody kind of combined together. We do manage. All right, 151, a fairly early balloon sabo, and we keep on pumping along. I guess the next thing that we can do is uh, I'm gonna try for my mobile limb. If we can afford it. That's got to be the next thing I have to get. It's got to be. Look at this. No bad balloons on 151. Thank you. No bad balloon left around 152. Going pretty well. So if we can manage him. Um, we do. We manage around 152 as well. I don't like to start with the balloon sabo. I like to wait about 5-10 seconds before I use the first balloon sabo. Um, it seems to be working pretty well for me. Usually I get a couple of my gods coming out at the very beginning of the round. Or a couple of random things coming out at the very beginning of the round. And I just don't really care too much about that. Um, so, uh, the main thing is getting the bats. That seems to be the only thing that even is remotely possible to kill us at this point. Uh, but again, bats with balloons inside. So DDTs could whoop right through my defense, or the Zoma Gods over here can randomly somehow be a major issue. Um, check this out. These are just two Zoma Gods right now. It doesn't seem like it should be that bad for us. But look at these balloons. They're getting a lot further than I'd like them to, man. And if we ever get a bad pop, like, over in this general area, we got less time, less uh, maneuverability to actually deal with these puppies. All right, again, a blue Sabo. Early, mid, mid of round 154. Seems like it's working, I think. I guess we're going to use one of these just to clean these guys up. And uh, keep on pushing on, my friends. I think 155 is that weird round where there's just, like, regular leads and ceramics and stuff coming out. Is that 155? Or am I thinking of something else? Hmm. Hmm. What am I thinking of? Nope, it's not that round. <laughs> All right. Every ability we got, we've got two more bads coming out in 155. I did not get them saboed. So uh, it kind of makes sense that they're being kind of problematic right here. 
Oh, darn, dude. All right. We're going to have to use uh, pretty much everything we got here. We're going to glue first because it lasts a long time. We're going to go for one of these abilities. Um, we're going to use this guy because that's got some range on us. And it looks like we pop him. The question is, is it going to be enough here? Churchill still can't attack, which is kind of sad. It makes me realize that Churchill could be buffed a little bit if we desired. Okay, we got to watch this. No! It's so fast! It's so fast! Dang, I should have restarted and tried to get a Sabo going. I had $13,000, but there it is, my friends. These blues are freaking fast, dude. Like, ugh, I should once I saw the mobs over here, I should have just restarted and just saw it, seen if I'd done better. But it is what it is. 155 is a very commemorable round. But I think we could do a smidge better. I think with some um, uh, maneuver, like maneuvering around with some of these ninjas and everything, we could probably get 20, mo 20 of these guys in range a little bit more effectively or efficiently. Um, and then maybe even we could probably, maybe, think about using a Churchill kind of up the corner here and getting the village all in the range of Churchill as well to make him even more powerful. I don't know what other towers I could pick, but if you guys have any ideas on what to do to maybe perfect this a little bit better, let me know in the comments below what your ideas are. If you guys enjoyed, though, press that like button, make sure you subscribe, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.